think I understand. Everything you did, you did because you'd been ordered to. Yes. And it was the old woman who gave you those orders. Then is she... Zero Senior? No. No? What? But if she gave you the orders... She did, but she wasn't the only person I took orders from. Then who? Yes. And that person is Zero Senior. Yes. We worked together to develop the project she mentioned. So I suppose, technically, my orders came from both of them. And they were both controlling Zero Junior, too. I told you before that Zero Junior moved the 6th AB room. Although that's strictly true, he didn't do it of his own free will. They ordered him to do it. Who? He was following orders just like me. But why? I don't know. I really don't. Maybe they did it so that people wouldn't suspect me. If they didn't want people to suspect you, then why have you moved the body in the first place? Eventually we'd figure out that the rooms had been moved and that she was in your room. Then maybe they wanted the opposite. You mean? Maybe they wanted you to suspect me. That doesn't make sense either. If they wanted people to suspect you, why move the room? You're right. Then maybe they only wanted certain people to be suspicious of me. You mean like Alice? Yes. Perhaps they wanted Alice to find the handkerchief and the knife. That would explain why they moved the room. Hmm. So they somehow knew Dio would hide the knife there? Yes. I think so. But how could they know that? Well, whatever the reasons were, Alice did notice that the room was moved. Which meant that Clover also figured it out. And just like you said, Alice used the knife to... to take her life. Clover didn't realize that, though. Or perhaps she didn't want to. In any event, she decided that I must have killed Alice to keep her quiet. So she confronted me. It was right after the second round of the AB game. Using Phi's timetable, that would be zero hours, zero minutes. Wait. You were listening to us in the security office? Yes. Because our brain is in the central computer, Sigma. Try and keep up. That wasn't all I was listening to, though. I know everything that happened in the facility after my body collapsed. You were watching through the security cameras. Yes, I was. I could see and hear everything. Anyway, we we're at zero hours, zero minutes. I was in the hallway on floor A when Clover found me and took me to room 2 in the crew quarters. We entered at about zero hours, one minute. She was very... forceful. I know you killed Alice. Tell me the truth and I'll let you live. Now fess up! I'm only gonna give you one chance. Boy, Clover has serious, serious anger issues. If you lie, or try to play dumb or something, I'll... I told her the truth, of course. I explained that I hadn't killed Alice. That she'd been infected with Radical Six, and it had caused her to kill herself. Clover was never going to believe that, though. We argued about it for nearly nine minutes. Of course, it's nine. It wasn't just Alice she asked me about. She asked me about the murder of the old woman, and about the A-B room being moved. She wasn't very nice about it. But I couldn't answer any of her questions. Because of your orders? Yes. Then, at about zero hours, ten minutes, she must have run out of patience. She stuck her hand in her pocket and started moving toward me. She backed me up against the wall, and pulled her hand out of her pocket. She was holding the injection gun. So she did do it. I tried to take it away from her. I even screamed for help. She refused to let go, of course. While we were fighting over it.
Whoa, hold on a minute. The trigger got pulled in the fight. I get that part. What I don't understand is why it did anything to you. You mean, because I'm a golem? One of my orders was always to act like I was one of the players. A human. Any human injected with that amount of tubocurine would die. That's why you... Uh, died? To give up the facade that you were human? No, I collapsed because Zero Jr. turned off the power to my body again. There it is, that makes sense. He probably felt he had to. Maintaining the illusion that I was human was probably in his orders, too. Of course. So to make it look like I had died, he turned the power off. That makes sense. Whatever the case, it was an accident. I don't think Clover ever intended to actually kill me. She only took the injection gun to try and threaten me. I don't know. If uh, she thought you had killed Alice, she probably would have killed you. How can you be sure? When I collapsed, she looked terrified. She checked for my pulse and listened to see if I was breathing. She also shook my body and called out to me several times. If she'd meant to kill me, why do all that? After a few moments, she ran off to the infirmary to get the AED. You mean the defibrillator? Yes. That uses an electric shock to restart the heart, right? Correct. So that was why she left? Yes. At zero hours, 11 minutes, 40 seconds, Clover left the cabin in the crew quarters. She ran off toward the infirmary. On the way, she bumped into Dio. Yes, I guess she just saw him, really. They didn't talk. She just ran past. And he just watched her go by? Yes, I imagine he was curious, of course. He probably wondered what she was doing. But he chose not to go after her. He had something else to do. Which was to steal the bracelet. At zero hours, 12 minutes, Dio enters the room. He seemed pretty surprised to find my body. Yeah, I bet. It didn't take him long to get over it, though. Wouldn't imagine it would. What did he do then? He'd gone there for two reasons. One was to get Alice's bracelet, which was a blue solo. Right. Without it, Dio and Kay, the yellow pair, wouldn't be able to get through the secondary door. Yeah, but he couldn't find it. Of course! Phi had already taken it by then. Yes, but there was something else he wanted to do, too. He was there to take the knife. Removing it was... gruesome. How bad it was. But why did he want the knife? Was it because he'd used it to kill the old woman? No, I don't think so. Then what do you think? I think he didn't want anyone to see the engraving on the knife's blade. That's why he hid it so well after he killed the old woman. Why wouldn't he want anyone to see that? We know why. Do you remember what it said? Myrmidons. There was a word engraved on the blade. Yes. It's the name of the organization he belongs to. We all know this. I don't think so. Um, I don't really know. I'm afraid not. Wait, wasn't he here to try and stop whatever Zero was doing? Yes. Then, hmm, wouldn't that mean he's on our side? Um, I don't know about that. He's killed four people. I'm not really sure he's on anyone's side. Hmm, you got a point. I guess this enemy of my enemy isn't my friend, huh? May I continue? Yeah, keep going. 
After he took the knife, Dio rifled through what few belongings Alice had. Luna said he didn't seem to be looking for anything in particular. He was probably just checking to see if she had anything useful. That was where he found the key to Kay's suit. He didn't seem to have any particular reason for taking it. At least as far as Luna could tell. At zero hours, 13 minutes, Dio left the room. He heard Kay opening the cyan door and ran out. When he left, he was heading toward the infirmary. My guess is that he was going after Clover. He found her with the AED. She was probably planning to just ignore him and head back, but Dio didn't let her. Hey, wait. Just what are you planning to do with that thing? Thinking about trying to resuscitate Luna? And why would you want to do that? You were the one who killed her, weren't you? When Clover tried to push past Dio, Luna said they began to fight. The fuck do you think you're doing? Dio pulled the knife out of his pocket and pointed it at Clover's throat. That was when he showed up. Ten Miyoji. Dio, what the hell are you doing? None of your goddamn business. Stay out of this, you senile old shit. Like hell, you son of a bitch. He let out a yell and leapt toward Dio. The younger man dodged him easily and lashed out with the knife. Tembyoji caught Dio's hand with a grunt, and for a moment, the two men struggled. Then, as the knife edged closer, he wrapped his other hand around the blade and tried to force it away. Didn't go so well, did it? But Dio was a much younger and stronger man, and the wound Tembyoji gave himself with the knife didn't do him any favors. He put up a valiant fight, but with a roar, Dio threw him off and Temmyoji collapsed to the floor. What are you going to do? Let's see... How about this? Ah! <laughs> How cute! You two really look great together, you know? What are you going to do to us? Isn't it obvious? I'm gonna handcuff you to a sink. Actually, I already have. Are you gonna beat us to death or something? He doesn't have to. Ugh, no. Nothing so tasteless. W what are you going to do then? How'd you like to make a bet? A bet? You've got... Oh, 20-some minutes until the primary white doors open. So I'd say you've got 25 minutes until they close. Give or take. If somebody happens to come by here before the doors close, you might live. But if nobody finds you, well... We'll be penalized! Exactly. So, I suggest you start screaming for help now. You are an asshole, aren't you? Unfortunately for you, just about all the rooms in this place are behind at least two nice thick doors. So unless they're pretty close, nobody's gonna hear you scream. Well, I'm off to the Floor B warehouse, okay? Enjoy your last 25 minutes. Later. What a dick. 25 minutes passed and no one came. Of course, by then there were only three other people who could have come, apart from Dio. You mean me, Thai, and Kay, right? Yes. You were in the crew quarters at this point. Yeah. Kay had told us about you. We'd also noticed that the knife in Alice's chest had been removed. If only we'd known what was happening in the infirmary. Unfortunately for Clover and Tenmyoji, 
their time had come. Once the primary white door closed, both of their bracelets injected them with Soparil. The anesthetic, right? Yes. Almost immediately, they started to feel sleepy. I think that's when Clover realized she was definitely going to die. That was when she decided to leave her message. Just as you said, she wrote on her left thigh with her right hand. And the word she wrote was Dio. Yes. As for what happened in the rec room, well, I guess I don't really need to tell you. Your theory was essentially correct. What you said was what happened. So Kay sprayed Dio's bracelet with the luminol, and then while his back was turned, Dio attacked him with the axe. So much death. Dio mortally wounded him, but didn't kill him, so Kay turned around and stabbed Dio with the spear. And I guess that's when we found them. Yes. When did Kay get the luminol? After they went through the white door, Dio and Kay found themselves in the director's office. When they were done there, they headed back to floor A to look for everyone else. They went to the crew quarters first, then to the infirmary. Of course, they found Clover and Tenmyoji's bodies there. Theo expected to find them, of course, but he pretended to be shocked. Anyway, Kay checked them over for anything useful. And that was when he found the luminol. Right. That's everything that happened. Do you have any questions? Well, what do you think? <laughs> um... Well, the first thing is Cork's bracelet. Why was it in the infirmary? Tenmyoji had it. Then when Dio attacked him, it fell out of his pocket. But why did Tenmyoji have Cork's bracelet? I told him where it was. Do you remember when you were in the rec room with Fai and Tenmyoji? Yes. When he sprayed us with the luminol, right? Sure, I remember that. Right after then. When he left the rec room, he went toward the green door to look for Quark. I ran into him at the end of the hallway, where the three doors and the switch are. That was when I told him. Look, Tenmyoji. The center door is unlocked. He took off through it without another word. That was the treatment room, right? Yes. Where Cork was sleeping? Right. It only took him a moment. As soon as he saw Quark, he ran to his pod and started crying. Out of relief, right? Yes. The display on the pod showed Quark's vital signs. It was obvious he was alive the moment he looked at it. Next to the pod was Quark's bracelet. That was how Tenmyoji got it. Why was Quark's bracelet off? I took it off. Aluminum foil. What? You mean the stuff from the crew quarters? Oh, you found it? Did you know that aluminum foil has electromagnetic shielding properties? I did not until now. Let's pick up on that. They're always watching! 
Wait. So you're telling me the aluminum foil can block the electromagnetic waves your heart sends out? Yes. All you have to do is wrap it around your bracelet. And the bracelet thinks your heart has stopped? Yes. Holy shit. It was that easy all along. Anyway, I used some aluminum foil to get Quark's bracelet off. Then I put it next to the pod. Wait, why was Quark in the pod to begin with? Oh, that's easy. I put him there. When did you do that? Remember when we were first looking for Quark? I found him unconscious near the entrance to the Golem Bay. So you carried him to the treatment pod? Yes. Were you the one who unlocked the treatment center too? No, I was not. I do not have the authority to operate any of this facility's machinery. So it was Zero Jr. That's right. He reactivated your body too, right? Man, I don't get any of this. Why the hell did he do that? Hmm. I guess it wasn't really him that did it, huh? He was just doing what Zero Senior and the old lady told him to do. Everything leads back to them, huh? Tch, of course it does. So, are you going to tell me? Tell you what? Isn't that obvious? Tell me what this project is. Everything that happens in here has something to do with it. So why were we brought here? To play the Nonary game. And why were we supposed to play the Nonary game? That was part of the project. Why did Alice kill herself? Because she was infected with Radical Six. How did she get infected? Zero Senior and the old woman did that. It was a necessary evil. It had to happen for the project to succeed. What would have happened if Alice hadn't committed suicide? Clover wouldn't have suspected me, and she wouldn't have accidentally... Um, killed me. Then what? I wouldn't have collapsed, and Dio wouldn't have found my body. That would have meant the confrontation in the infirmary never took place. In other words, you're saying Clover and Tenmyoji died for this project. Yes. Well, actually it was the tubo curarine that killed them. But they were only injected with it because of their bracelets. And they were only wearing those bracelets because of the Nonary game. If the Nonary game is part of the project, then that's one more way it killed them. I guess. If you want to look at it that way. Now what about Kay and Dio? Why would they kill each other? Because Dio killed the old woman. He was worried about getting caught, so he tried to kill Kay before he could find out the truth. Then if Dio hadn't killed the old lady, what happened in the rec room would never have taken place, right? Yes. So let me ask you this. Why did Dio kill her? So that he could pose as one of the participants. And why did he do that? To disrupt the project. Then why did she let him kill her? The same reason they did all of this. It was a necessary evil. The project couldn't be allowed to fail. Six people died here. Four of them were murdered, one way or another, by Dio. At first, that makes it look like Dio's the reason they all died. But that's not true, is it? All of them, all six of them, they all died for this project. 
That means that the murderer, or I guess I should say murderers, were the old lady and Zero Senior, right? Please, Luna, tell me. What is this project about? Who is the old woman? Who is Zero? Sigma. Would you hug me? Um, okay. Sure. Instead of answering, Luna wrapped her arms around me and buried her face in my chest. My own arms hovered in the air, confused about where they should go. I swallowed hard and tried to rein in my heartbeat, which had suddenly doubled. I was about to speak when I felt something warm on my chest. Was Luna crying? This feels nice. Her voice shook as she spoke. I lowered one hand to her head and began to gently stroke her hair. <gasps> oh! Hey, hey, Luna? What the hell is going on? I'm sorry. My ABT is usually held in place by muscle fiber. But after Clover gave me the tubal curarine... Oh, no. No, no. You're not gonna do this to me. Okay, okay. I, I get it. This... Does it scare you? This is what I really look like. I'm a golem. Just a... A machine. A jumble of metal and plastic that pretends to be real. I wrapped my arms around Luna and hugged her as tight as I could. You believed in me this whole time. Yeah. Even though I look like... like this? Of course. I trust you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I wish I could stay here forever. You feel so nice. But I think my time is up. What? I've done things I really shouldn't have. Do you remember what you asked me earlier? About if Zero Jr. had reactivated my body? Remember? The truth is... He I did. I went to the part of the core that controls Zero Jr. And I hacked it. Yes, that was the first thing. The second. Do you know what the second one was? No. If I had really wanted to, I could have saved Clover and Tenmyoji. Then Kay and Dio probably wouldn't have killed each other. That's not all. I could have stopped Alice from killing herself, and I could have even saved the old woman at the very beginning. In other words, I had the ability to disobey my orders. But I... I didn't. That's the second thing. I broke the first law. I was scared. I, I was afraid to die. Obviously, hacking the core and taking control of Zero Junior's systems is very, very bad. Golems who don't follow orders can become dangerous, so we're terminated if we disobey. You lose access to your body, of course. But everything that's stored in the core... Your memories, your consciousness, is deleted. What? Wait, are you saying- Yes, very soon now I'll be gone. Zero Junior is probably recovering himself right now. Once he's done, I doubt I'll be around much longer. Why? I watched six people die and did nothing. I deserve this. No, you don't. 
Even if you had done something, you would have been killed anyway! You can't blame yourself! You did what you could! You're not wrong! This game is what's wrong! Forcing you to watch your friends die is what's wrong! Glad I met you. Luna! It's gonna be okay. I'm not gonna let them do this. You're gonna be fine. I promise. Just please don't. I'm sorry. My time's up. At least I get to die in your arms. Thank you. Sigma. And... Goodbye. Doctor. Doctor? <laughs> but she couldn't answer. I squeezed my eyes shut and held her. Unable to bear the thought of letting any more of her slip away. With one last quiet chime, the music box wound down. I was left with nothing but silence and the cold pool of tears over my heart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Who's the ninth? We'll find out. Okay, so we're pretty much set. We just need to go through here and we'll figure it out. In the meanwhile, guys, thank you all so much for watching. We're almost there. We are almost done here. We're almost finished. And it's all going to come together. I promise you it will. But in the meanwhile, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying bringing it to you. But I must be signing off for now. Take care.